Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Michael Angelo. Nice to meet you. Today, we're gonna be talking about a very, a very shitty subject. I, I'm just gonna say it as it is. It's a very shitty subject. If you're involved in the fashion industry, it's 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 shitty. It's very shitty. All right. So in my original intro. I kind of go on on this point for about two, three minutes and it's kind of long. So I just kind of wanted to cut it down and say that the point that I'm trying to make here is that I'm very aware of the negative effects that I'm having and the fashion industry is having on the planet as a whole. And just going forward, I'm going to be very aware of my purchasing habits, uh, such as where I'm purchasing my items from, how often and whether or not I can get these items thrifted. Um, and so I just think it's important that we all kind of do our part in trying to preserve the planet and just kind of go forward with this in mind. So that's about it. Let's get back to the video. Okay, so with all that being said, uh, let me show you my shoe collection. <laughs> I like talking about this stuff. I like uh, watching videos on this stuff. I like getting inspiration from other people. And I like watching videos like this where I see people's shoe collection. And look, I'll be honest, a lot of these shoes um, I've had for years. You know, I've only purchased, well, I've actually purchased a few shoes this year, but, <laughs> um, but a lot of them you'll see I've owned for years and I just like to keep them and wear them, you know, a lot. So yeah. Okay, let's dive into the first shoe and it's my, I actually made a video on these, it's pretty recent um, and it is my, probably my favorite shoes at the moment and that is the Doc Martens 1461s. Yeah, buddy. I'm, I hope I'm exposed correctly by the way, I, I think I'm being overexposed here but we'll see. It's getting kind of cloudy outside too. But uh, anyway, yes, my Doc Martens 1461s. Like I said, I just got these. These are my most, probably, no, not my most recent, but one of my most recent pickups. I love them. And I got these with the intention that they were gonna be like one of my, well, pro probably my last shoe purchase of the year. And I really want them to be, hopefully one of my last shoe purchases in general, unless there's another shoe that pops up that I really, really like. But I don't know, cause I kind of I'm kind of tired of buying a lot of shoes and buying a lot of clothes. Also, I kind of want to keep limit my spending and just sort of keep wearing the same stuff that I have. And that's that was the intention behind these shoes, so that I can wear them a lot. I can wear them during the summer. I can wear them during the winter, and they just sort of cover a lot of bases. You can dress them up. You can dress them down. Yeah. And I also got some a pair of shoes that are very similar to the 1461s and that is the 8053s. I think that's what they're called. This is a very cool pair of shoes as well. As you can see, they're very similar to the 1461s. And I got these because the same, same kind of concept. I want these two pairs of shoes to last me for like 10 years. And the plan is to sort of alternate between these two so I don't just wear down one shoe I wear I kind of wear both of them down and they'll last me a lot longer that way okay let's go with let's go with these shoes this is one of my favorite shoes and it's also a little hack that I sort of did and that is these Jordan ones um, I guess people call them the panda colorway. I don't call it that. These are just black and white shoes, Jordan 1s. But these are not the Jordan 1 OGs. These are actually the Jordan 1, come on, golf. Yeah, these are golf shoes. These are Jordan 1 golf shoes. Can you tell? I don't know, I don't think so. <laughs> Whenever I wear these out, people have no clue that these are golf shoes. Uh, only real sneakerheads, I guess, will know because if you just look at it right off the bat, you know that these aren't OGs because this isn't white. OGs um, have this part white. I couldn't get OGs or I, I didn't want to pay resale for OGs. I'm not going to pay 400 bucks for a pair of shoes. These were in stock, my size, a fraction of the price, so I got these. Yeah. I love Jordan 1s. I have three, four pairs of Jordans. This is my first one, so. All right, let's go with these. I love these shoes. I've had these for, this is one of the pairs that I've had for a long time that uh, I have kept in my rotation. And I think pretty much everyone 
has a pair of these at this point and if you don't i recommend these they look cool and they feel cool and that is the converse one highs in white these are the chuck taylors these are not the 70s these are chuck taylors but i like these these are fine they're white and they go with everything but i also wear, I like wearing these to the gym because you know flat feet you you have better form when you're squatting and all that so i've been wearing these to the gym lately when i do legs but other than that, I freaking love these. They look great with shorts. They're not 100% leather, so they feel nicer during the summer. So yeah, I recommend these. These are great. I love them. Okay, now we're going with um, a pair of running shoes that I have. And I, I love these shoes. I've actually worn them in a few outfits before because of, well, you'll see what I mean. And it is a Hoka Ona Ones. Which ones are these? I think these are the Clifton 6s. Hey guys, what's up? So it's actually a couple days after I filmed that video and uh, I just realized that the name of the shoe is actually written inside. Um, it's actually uh, a Hoke One One Bondi 8, not the Clifton. And right now I was checking the website and they're actually available for 165. Yeah, I don't know, my bad. And I got these a couple of years ago as well when I started really getting into running during the pandemic and all that. These are incredibly light and they also have this crazy, crazy cushion and they help you run long distances. So if you're lo looking for a good running shoe for long distance, I recommend these again. And also, dude, these are, I love these because they have this nice chunky look and I could wear them with some pretty cool outfits. All right, next we're going with, let's go with these. Sorry, I'm trying to remember what colorway these are. Anyway, these are the Yeezy Boost 350s and the I don't remember what colorway this is. Damn it. Let me check the box. Of course, Israfil. These are the Israfil colorway. People aren't wearing Yeezys that much anymore. I still am. I love these things. These are, these are super comfortable, easy to slip on and off, and really easy to just when you're trying to just put on a shoe that looks cool but you don't want to think too much nine out, nine times out of ten these are gonna look pretty gosh darn good with whatever you're wearing don't condone anything that connie west said and honestly his music has been uh, i stopped following the dude like when he dropped yeezus after yeezus i was like okay i think i'm done none and his music has gone down a lot in my opinion like in a bad way and yeah, I think everything else just sort of followed. <laughs> but anyway, his shoes are cool. <laughs> All right, so um, let's go with Adidas NMDs. Now, a few years ago, these were, oops, they're all full of hair. Cause uh, yeah, I was with my dad and he, had, he has dogs. Yeah, both of them are full of hairs, <laughs> my bad. I like putting these on because they're Number one, they're just very, very comfortable. Number two, they're very easy to put on. They have a little pull tab, so you just sort of And I also, I kind of have like a wider foot and these are really nice for, for wide feet. These are, were very popular a few years ago and um, I still have a couple of pairs. I have another pair over there and I still wear mine. I love them. They're, they're very, 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 very comfortable. So yeah. Now I have a couple of pairs of classic white shoes i think everyone needs a pair of classic white shoes and the first pair here is these very 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 nice looking i love these shoes um i, I don't even think what i don't even know what they're called i think they're just called re leather shoes um from the brand everlane can you guys see that and everlane is a really cool company they um they make pretty sustainable clothing they kind of show you how the clothes is made, how much they pay their workers, all that stuff. And again, this is called re-leather because it's basically recycled leather. It's a little bit classier than just your regular classic shoe. By the way, I'm a size 10 and a half. So most of these shoes are in a size 10 and a half, except for the Yeezys, which are in a size 11. Oh, and the, the, the Doc Martens, which are in a size 10. Everlane, if you guys have heard of them or if not, Hit me up down below. I'm curious in how many people know about Everlane, but um, they're a really cool brand. More on the expensive side, but from what I've seen, it's kind of worth it, so. So now let's go on to another pair of white shoes, but this is a different, I guess, just style of white shoes, and that is one of my favorite shoes of all time, Adidas Ultra Boosts. Now this pair right here, 
is the first iteration of the Ultra Boosts when now they have a bunch of different iterations, different versions. The version that's out now is not this version. Um, I can't even find these versions online anymore. And it's a, it's a shame because I freaking love this version. This is my favorite version. And these are to this day, my pro probably my favorite pair of shoes ever of all time. I don't know, it's kind of hard to, to say. Doc Martens are pretty awesome, but they're kind of new compared to these. It's tough, man. Whenever, uh, I love these shoes so much. Number one, they're just, I'm putting them on right now because <laughs> they are just so, so comfortable. Yeah, I, I, I want to buy another pair just, you know, to have them because that's, that's how much I love these shoes. I still wear them. People don't wear these anymore. I don't care. I love them. Uh, yeah, I love these shoes, man. Hit me up if you know where I can get one of these in a size 10 and a half. I think these are, yeah, I got these a size 11 because uh, they're a little bit tight. If you have any idea where I could get one of these, let me know. I will pay, not a lot of money, but I'll pay money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's go on to these. These are my Solomon shoes. I actually have another pair of Solomons. Don't remember what these are, Supercross. They're Supercross, but there's different versions of Supercross, but basically it's a Supercross and uh, it's exact, exactly the same as this, except they're in blue. Um, that's it, that's the only difference. And as you can tell, they're kind of beat up, but that's the whole point. The Hoka Ones, One Ones are more like for street running, and this, these are for trail running. And I wanted trail running specific shoes, so that's why I got these, and I love them so much. I got two pairs. Also, I like these because they have the Gore-Tex technology, which basically makes them waterproof. Now, they're not 100% waterproof. Um, I will tell you this, I went on uh, Splash Mountain with these and my feet were dry. I got soaked, but my feet were dry, so there you go. <laughs> yeah, I love these shoes. They're a great trail running shoes, and I just find it very odd that I got these years ago and people would actually make fun of me because I would wear these. Um, and now they're cool. A lot of people are wearing them. I just, I find that funny. Now we're gonna go <laughs> with uh, another pair of Yeezys, but they're not the Yeezy Boost, they're the Yeezy Foam Runners. <laughs> and uh, now these aren't OG pairs of Foam Runners. These are fakes. Um, I got these for like 30 bucks on some website. I was not gonna pay 200 bucks for a bunch of foam. I only wear these inside the house. I have worn them out a few times and uh, you know, no one notices, no one knows, no one cares. Um, I wore them to the movie theaters, which I really like to do actually, cause it's kind of comfortable. Um, I think they're a perfect sort of airport shoe when you're going through security and everything. They're, they're incredibly ugly, um, but I like them, yeah. Okay, let's go, let's do some Jordans because I have more Jordans left. Okay, let's do two Jordans back to back because I, I have a couple of Jordans left. And that is the Breads in Mid. Um, this is when I first started getting really into sneakers and I got myself a pair of Jordans. Actually, these are my first pair of Jordans. Have you guys seen these? These came out in like 2000. I don't remember, 14, 15, 16, around there. Um, they're the Zebras. And like I said, these are my first pair of Jordans. They were, they were just sitting on the shelf. I went shoe shopping one day. They're just sitting there on the shelf. And I was like, hey, you know what? I kind of like these. So I got them. Just kind of like, like that. That's pretty much it. I kind of got, I started getting more, more into sneakers at that point. So back to my other ones, this was the second pair that I got and these are actually a gift from my fiance. After she found out that I was like into Jordans, she got me these. These are the breads in mid and I like how these look like with shorts and just any sort of long pant that kind of drapes over it. Um, all right, so my battery just died. I had to swap out, swap it out. So maybe the camera angle changed a little bit, but yeah. So yeah, people don't wear mids anymore. Um, I don't care. I still I still wear them. I love them, especially the this colorway. Oh, it's one of my favorites. They actually don't smell bad. <laughs> okay, now let's go on to. Ooh, I've been wearing these shoes a lot lately. Um, they're one of my older pair of shoes. I've had these for a few years. I could probably even find out exactly when I bought them, but it is the. Yep, I found it. <laughs> March 17th, 
2016 is when I got these Air Force One fly knits in this sort of weird gray colorway. You guys remember fly knit back when it was like super popular? I still love these shoes. They're super lightweight, like incredibly lightweight and they're super comfortable in my foot. Like I said, I kind of like a wide foot and these are great for that. And I just think they look super cool, especially with like some chinos. Yeah, man, these are, these, these, yeah, these take me back. <laughs> okay, so we have a few more pairs left. Let me see exactly how many, but one, six more pairs. Let's run through these quick. So like I said, I had a couple of, of uh, Adidas NMDs and these are the other ones. These are sort of like in a weird grayish color. The other ones were in like a black color. I actually took these to New York City the first time I went to New York City and I still wear them to this day. Like I said, it's a nice wide toe. I love the way they fit. If I could get a new pair, I probably would, but I'm not going to. Because <laughs> of money. Like I said, I had a couple of pairs of like clean white shoes. This is my other pair right here and these are the... Hold on, let me just tie this. All white Stan Smiths. You guys have seen these, you guys know these. They're not, um, it's not like anything new, but these are white sneakers. They, I just got the all white, I kind of regret it. I kind of wish I'd gotten the one with the little pop of green, but at the time I just wanted all white shoes. So I got these and I love them. I mean, there's not really much to say about these other than they might be the best white sneaker ever made probably for the price point you know what I mean like all of that considered in fact I'm gonna put them on right now she like if you put in you know how much it costs combined with you know how it looks I think these might be the best white sneaker of all time I'm gonna wear them today if I if I don't think I'm gonna go out but if I do I'm wearing them today <laughs> I don't know if I consider these in the same ballpark as like Converse high top because those are high tops they're a completely different vibe you probably could pull off the same outfits that you could like, you know, if you just swapped out the shoes and just focus on the outfit, like you could probably probably put all, pull off the same outfits, but it, it gives it a completely different sort of like feel, you know what I mean? Converse are like really skater, rocker type. These are more like classy, just sort of preppy, you know what I mean? Yeah. All right, so let's move on to my last pair of Yeezys and these are the Yeezy Boost 350s in Citroen. Of the two, this is prob probably my, my more favorite colorway because it's like closer to white. And these go with a lot, a lot more than the gray ones. And again, they are very comfortable and very lightweight. Perfect summer shoe, perfect for just putting on and going out the house and not worrying if you look cool or not because nine times out of 10, you're gonna look cool. Now let's do my last pair of Jordans. Now this is what like kind of drove me to just want to buy like one more pair of shoes this year because I bought a lot of shoes this year and one of those pairs was this right here. The Jordan Air Jordan 1s in this gorge green colorway and I freaking love these shoes man. I love these shoes and I got these I actually got these for less than retail because um, they were just sitting on, on the shelf and people bought them and of course they had to sell them but they didn't have to but you know they chose to sell them and they're selling them for less than retail so I paid less than retail for these win for me I love them I wear them not a lot it's summer it's kind of hot and it's kind of hard to wear them but once the weather starts changing again and it starts getting a little bit cooler you bet you you bet you <laughs> you bet that I'm gonna wear these um, a lot more and they still smell nice and clean but these are so nice the leather on these is so nice there's actually a couple of youtube reviewers that reviewed this and they're like bro why is this shoe just sitting and that's what kind of led me to 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 look at these and i found them for less than retail like i said so i purchased them and yes they are 100 percent right these are crazy good quality and I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe they're, they're just sitting there. I guess the color, I guess Jordan 1s aren't just popular this year as they were a couple of years ago, but that's okay. Better for me because I love Jordan 1s. There you go. All right, just a couple more shoes and we'll do these. This is my second to last pair and these are my most recent pickup. Tom's Espadrilles in this kind of grayish color. 
Now, if you guys have been following the news um, at all, or if just if you've been outside, you know that's been ridiculously hot, especially down in the south in Texas, which is where I live. For like three weeks straight, it was like over 100 degrees. It reached like 110 one of the days. I did not want to wear regular shoes, so I actually bought these shoes for that purpose. They're 50 bucks, they're not very expensive. They were a lifesaver. You don't have to wear socks with these, you just slip them on and slip them off. And yeah, I loved wearing these to work, to anywhere really. I wore them last, no, not last night, a couple nights ago. And yeah, I love them. Really comfortable actually. They're a lot more comfortable than I thought they're gonna be. And yeah, like I said, they're 50 bucks. So couldn't beat that. Now let's go on to my, oh shoot, I have, okay. <laughs> this is my this is my second to last pair and it is these are my Sebago loafers. Come on Come on, there we go My Sebago loafers and I actually got these on eBay for like 40 bucks I think crazy because these are actually a really nice shoe like the brand Sebago. They're made in the United States I think I've done more damage to them honestly than the person who wore them before me, I love them. I, I love loafers. I really love them. I didn't think I was gonna love them. Um, I kind of just got them because I had a few like outfit ideas and I was like, ooh, it'll be cool with some loafers. Let me try, let me look on eBay. Found some for fairly cheap and I love them. I've been wearing them a lot more than I thought I would actually. Um, I wore them today actually. Um, actually did a short, it's probably gonna post in like a week. Um, loafers. Now let's go on to my last shoe. And these might be my favorite shoe. I don't know, it's hard to, to decide. I know I've said that a few times already, which is my favorite shoe, I don't know. But let's just go with these, these, nah, I don't know. Ultra boots are pretty awesome. But anyway, I guess, I guess we'll put it this way. This is my favorite boot because it's the only boot that I own and that is these. The Timberland, honestly, I couldn't tell you. I don't know what brand, what, what model this is. I don't know. I just know it's Timberland boot. They're my only boots and I've had these for probably more than any other shoe that I've that I've had here. Maybe like 10 years, 10 years plus I've had these and they've stood the test of time. I love them and I think they just look absolutely great. Not the most comfortable boot, but they're pretty they're fairly comfortable. I don't know, I don't even know if they're the best quality boots. I know when I got them they're pretty expensive but I don't know much about boots. I haven't looked into them that much to see if they're like a good quality, especially now, like I've had them for so many years. I don't even know if, if um, I could even find the right model anymore. I love the way they look on feet. I mean, I've never bought another pair of boots because I was like, I don't need to, because I have these, <laughs> you know what I mean? These are, to me, the perfect boot. And yeah, I'm gonna have to get another pair eventually. I don't know which is my favorite, but these are pretty close. All right, uh, that's it. I think, yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> that's a lot of shoes, man. I counted them, it's like 20, 20 something pairs, 21 or 22. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to tone it down now. I don't think I, I'm, I think I'm good. I don't think I need more shoes than this. <laughs> Okay, everybody, it's gonna rain soon. Great, um, I'm, I cannot wait. I, we've been needing rain. And yeah, if you guys liked this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you wanna subscribe, I will recommend it because you get videos like this one. And that'd be very cool. And that's pretty much it, guys. I'll, I'll, I appreciate your time and your generosity. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great, great, lovely day. Peace.